Alabama's news source. Oh, look at you wagging your little tail. You're so cute. Uh, with spring right around the corner, it's time to get your dog ready for the new season and to help prepare you for spring. Unleash offers the following care tips. Here to tell us more about it, we have Avery Thrasher with Unleash Magazine. Good to see you in your camo you awesome. today. You. I could barely figure out where you were over there. All right, so you have the cutest dog. Everybody uh, is in love with this dog, and she's up for adoption, too. She is. Yeah. Her name is Kira. She's two years old. She's a beagle mix. Yes, she's we can see that. She's the Montgomery Maine side, and she's uh -huh. looking for a good home. Yeah, and she's so sweet and oh, lovable. Everybody's yes. wanting to uh, just hug on her. Very and she's, people friendly. And, and she's, of course, full grown. And uh, hi, hello, <laughs> uh, and all ready to go home. So if you like the size of this dog, the look of this dog, she has everything. Or shots already she's had her vet visit and she's microchipped and she's good to go she's spayed so she's ready for a home so right. how do we get our pets ready for spring it'll be spring before we know it it feels like it right, out there today right 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 well the spring season is approaching and we all want to go outside and take advantage of everything that uh, the season has to offer so one of the first thing we can do is start grooming your dog more mm -hmm. often and what this will do will prevent mats and tangles from right. forming. It also stimulates the skin and helps circulate the natural and essential oils. That's, <laughs> that's good coat. to know. And that'll keep that shiny coat nice. Right. It'll get them all ready. Right. Uh, what about their bedding? You got to pay attention to that too, yeah. right? Yeah, their bedding. Well, they're on their bedding a lot of time. Yes. Yes. So what happens is their bedding tends to collect a lot of dirt, dander, uh, and their fur. Mm -hmm. Also, so it's a good idea to, to wash it. Yeah. Actually, fleas and pa flea eggs and parasites tend to harbor there also. So it's a good yeah. idea to wash it in some. So you treat them and then you don't treat their bedding. Exactly. You're exactly. just kind of be a no not situation. taking care. Exactly. It'll be a vicious right. cycle. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, and also, uh, for a cute dog like this, lots uh -huh. of energy, they're going to want to run around outside. So right. you got to take care of your yard, too. you got to take care of your yard. You want to give your, walk, your yard a, a little walk through and see if there are any holes that need to be filled. Right. See if there's their enclosures intact. See if they're fencing. It needs to be replaced or anything like that. And you also want to watch and make sure there are any common plants or any flowers out there that your dog, they may be toxic to your dog. Mm -hmm. If they ingest those, it could be it fatal. could be dangerous. Yeah, could be they could get sick or worse. Yeah. Soon. Another thing, they might have grown a little bit uh, right. over the season. They might need to have their their collar adjusted, right? Sure, sure. During during the winter months, uh, dogs tend to pack on the pan, mm -hmm. a little bit of weight. So you not used here, of course. <laughs> And then what about uh, cleaning up their gear? Talk to us about that real quickly before we let you go. Well, you want to check your check the gear. This includes their, their water bowls, their food bowls, mm -hmm. uh, any things used to groom them. Or carry uh, them in or things like that. So. Exactly. You want to make sure these things are safe and still in usable condition. And if, if they're not safe, you want to replace them. Uh -huh. And if they're dirty, you know, germs and bacteria <laughs> tend to settle on the surface of these type of things. Mm -hmm. So you, you want to clean them. All right. Well, we want to quickly remind you, you can go to Unleash Magazine. UnleashMagazine.com. Yeah. Visit the lifestyle section. You get these great tips and more. All right. Thank you, Avery. You're welcome. Thank you, Sarah. She is at Montgomery Humane Society. Call them at 409-0622 if you want to take this cutie pie home. You are so adorable. <laughs> we'll be right back with more Alabama Live right after this.